Шановні колеги, Dear colleagues, we continue our work, and the next briefing is dedicated to the topic uh, MPs reports, uh, requirements of doc democracy or a whim of the public. Our uh, speakers today are Natalia Vatamanyuk, coordinator of the initiative Open Parliament. She uh, starts uh, the briefing, and then also Elena Schrum, MP, and uh, this day, colleagues, Ukraine uh, celebrates the anniversary of open parliament membership of Ukraine. Uh, the action plan uh, for the declaration uh, is established. The main uh, imp uh, characteristic feature of this initiative and its main goal is transparency of the parliament, uh, introducing transparency in the parliamentary activities and uh, broad engagement of, of general public in parliamentary activities during the last year. We achieved uh, uh, many uh, goals, but we do not have enough uh, votes of MPs, and this is a vicious circle. And uh, il, il vote uh, believes uh, to deputies' slogans, but uh, an MP doesn't open his information, doesn't report on his activities, and we again. Uh, do not know what to do further, what next steps will be. We have the law saying that an MP should report at least twice a year about his or her activities. And when we researched, we found out that only 15% of MPs comply with this uh, rule of legislation of Ukraine. Why is it so? Why uh, MPs uh, uh, comply? Compliance uh, is uh, so poor. Alexandra Krivaruchka is given the floor. Thank you, uh, uh, Chesna uh, Movement conducted a research into the matter of reporting by MPs, and we uh, managed uh, to find out. Uh, um, uh, that uh, really, according to legislation, MPs uh, should report twice a year. We found only 63 deputies reports, 15% uh, deputies reports uh, on the Internet. The, uh, most of them are uh, first past the post uh, MPs, so the uh, deputies uh, 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 who have been elected according to the first past the post system, they should report, they are obliged to report to their voters. And the second thing is that the MPs are also um, pushed by NGOs su such as Council uh, Report Challenge uh, Program Opora. Uh, addressing first past the post vo uh, MPs. Uh, that is why uh, first past the post deputy they report uh, most often, and also the program USAID report rather. Uh, but the reports are not regular. Also, the format is not unified. So in the framework of open parliament uh, initiative, we, uh, our coalition of NGOs uh, has uh, developed the format of reporting, and we want it to be approved uh, as a recommendation for all MPs so that uh, reporting is uh, comparable. 
Thank you. We are given the floor to Elena Schrum. Good afternoon, colleagues. I'm very glad and proud to work about uh, to say today about this initiative about Verkhovna Rada about political parties because not only an MP should be open, but also all those institutions uh, uh, of government they should be open. Any person will not report information about him or her voluntarily, so NGOs should uh, push persons and should explain also voters why it is important to know about activities of deputies. Our parliament has already changed in terms of its openness. If we compare the data, we have database declarations of civil servants and MPs. We have reports of MPs. We have reports of committees. We have minutes of the committees and also thanks to donors, thanks to international institutions, many of them uh, established online uh, broadcasting of meetings, but uh, uh, the reporting is still not mandatory like in European countries where uh, general public uh, monitor uh, the efficiency, the performance of MPs. Uh, who of MPs uh, uh, appears uh, at the meetings uh, because now uh, the only sanctions which are really efficient, they are political ones when uh, nobody votes for this or that deputy. So we should explain to our public what uh, uh, MP is efficient, why it is important uh, to um, go to meetings of the committees uh, which they are members of. In our committee, we have two members who ha have not visited our meetings uh, even once, so we should explain that this person, this MP is not efficient, this person does not demonstrate cooperation, maybe this person is not in Kiev and not in Rada, and this person could not be voted for next time at the elections. The, then uh, the MPs of the next convocation, they will feel that they should report. Uh, according to the law, political Political parties also should uh, uh, submit their declarations, but this uh, has not has not worked because two biggest factions they do not have funds, they do not have premises. This is uh, not true, this is fake, such reports we do not need. We had uh, similar um, reports uh, uh, during previous convocations of MPs, the reports uh, uh, should provide us understanding which topics uh, the deputy addresses in his or her activities. Um, the deputy should demonstrate how uh, he or she visits uh, uh, electorate. This is normal European practice, and this information is analyzed, and voters in European countries, they believe they can um, influence uh, the activities of MPs, but in our country there is a gap uh, between voters and MPs, uh, and this is a gap in psychology and mentality as well. So reporting and transparency, the different instruments presented in this brochure, from Opora, Chesnadia, Ukraine, Transparency International Aidas, they allow the voter to assess objectively the work of people's deputy, not from the paid journalism that is delivered through the media or fake news or paid materials. So openness and transparency of the Supreme Council of the deputies are the elements of mature the maturity of political culture and deputy ethics, and we develop now the code of ethics for deputies. 
and uh, a year passed since this program came into being and we signed with Natalia a memorandum and me personally I placed declarations uh, of my aides and uh, all the requests and all the answers I have a reference on my personal page and you can get information about what I do so everything is transparent this is my priority and also on the proposal of the experts I would like to show a form of report and and rather a report challenge is used in this reporting and the experts develop such a form of report and uh, you can also download it on the page and require from the deputies to report on their work and uh, request to the uh, deputies finances uh, for deputies activities uh, uh, that the uh, uh, international activity of the deputy in such a way a voter can assess properly the activity of the deputy. Also, the transparency of uh, the Verkhovna Rada apparatus is important. The deputies made the request to the accounting chamber in order to carry out the audit of the uh, Verkhovna Rada apparatus. So they spent one billion and uh, we question this sum because this is taxpayers' money, it's too much. And uh, this is practically the trend in the world to report on the activity. And I studied the activity of American congressmen. You can visit site and you can see how this deputy was elected to Congress about his fundraising and the legislative initiative. All the information about the politician is present. So you understand the ideology he is, uh, he is in. So we are together with the whole world, and I believe that this convocation of the Supreme Council will show its transparency. Any final remarks, maybe questions or comments? I would like to add, I would like to add why it is important to have a unified form because now, as surveys show, often deputies report, for example, about uh, charity work, and this is not a direct responsibility of the deputy. This is auxiliary instrument of personal campaigning, and we focus our attention that uh, on the fact that the reporting of the people's deputies should be based on their direct responsibilities. So that's why we address everyone to look at this form and uh, also join to discuss this form in order to adopt it by the broadest coalition. Thank you. If there are no questions, this is the end of press conference. Thank you and goodbye.